consider this. Uh, last week I sent an interesting video, got a lot of response on Friday, so thank you if you responded, um, about this combination of you know 1.0 and 2.0 and how do we make sure we're continually bridging the gap and really doing the best of both worlds. That no matter what, at the end of the day, this business that we're in is about being face to face with people that can ultimately make a decision. Um, there's a wonderful old saying about entrepreneurs like you and I. Um, the more problems we solve, the more money we make. Matter of, fact, matter of fact, I think the exact quote was, I solve problems for a profit. So we use things like Facebook, ding, in the back there, Facebook and Twitter and your blog and your website as a lead generation vehicle, as a communication device, and yet we've always got to have the skills, the ability to engage people, to connect with people in a meaningful way that uh, will allow them to reveal, if you will, their issues, their challenges, their concerns, their worries, and then it takes our skills to resolve them. That's kind of the one-two punch that's available for people like you and I. Um, so I want to remind you of, of an old script to help you schedule more appointments this week. And whether you choose to use this online or offline, consider that there's probably 50 to 75 people a month that are asking you this question, again, whether they're online or offline. And the question is essentially, hey, what's going on in the market? Um, this morning, I'm at the gym at 5 a.m. and my trainer who bought a house in 2004 and has been looking at the possibility of you know, uh, making a move up, making a move laterally, we're just in this dialogue about real estate and he's like, how's the market, right? So even he's asking me, what's going on across the country? Everybody's asking the same question. So the question I have for you is, how do you respond? When somebody says, how's the market, what do you say? Well, if you've been to my trainings before, you know that my typical response is, you don't want to jump in and say, well, let me tell you what's going on right now inside the market, all the REOs this and the bank on that, blah, blah, blah. Wait, that's a mistake. They're engaging you. We need to re-engage and find out what their motivation is. What is it they're interested in, interested in? So they say, how's the market? We respond by saying, well, that depends. Are you looking to buy, sell, invest, or rent? Which of those markets are you interested in? You and I both know those are four completely different markets. So they say, well, I'm interested in selling, and we go down that path road. We're interested in buying, we go down that path. We're interested in investing, we go down that path. Renting, go down that path. But here's the key, ready? What do you do when you someone says, how's the market? Like, what, what's going on in real estate? And you say, well, that depends. You're gonna buy, sell, invest your rent. And they say, well, you know, I don't know, I'm just curious. Now, most people don't know how to engage from there. My advice is, rather than stopping, what do you do? You look them right in the eye and you say, hey, I appreciate that. Or you look them online in the eye and you say, well, I'm curious, who are you asking for? Who are you asking for? And you know what happens? And everybody say, oh, well, you know, my brother-in-law is thinking about selling or, you know, I was talking to my sister and she was thinking about doing something or my neighbor was thinking about moving and I was just curious, like, you know, what's going to happen? What's going on inside the market? And again, that gives you an opportunity to generate another referral. So kind of continuing on with this theme from last week, you know, it's moving the, you know, the 1.0 agent into the 2.0 world and, and not replacing, but adding to, adding that next dimension of communication and connection. And then remember at the end of the day, our job is to be face to face with people that can buy and sell real estate. And the more problems we can solve, the more money we make. How do we do that? We get face to face, we find out what's going on, we get appointments, and at the end of the day, we close. So. Just my simple thoughts for you on Monday, how's the market? And remember the script, that depends. Are you looking to buy, sell, invest, or rent? And then take them down the appropriate path.